In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft Excel to find out the quartiles. So we need to go in here, get our data, copy the data, and then you paste it into Excel. And I have that here. I have some formatting already done, and now we're going to do it. So there's a function in here called quartile.exe. It returns the quartile, so that's the one I want. And now what we're going to do is put the array in there and then what quartile we want. So the information is here all the way down to the last one. And then what quartile we want? We want the first quartile. One is the 25th percent. And then of course we can format these numbers. Now we just do it again. Equals the quartile of the same data and two the quartile of the same data. Three. Okay, so there's our quartile one, quartile two, quartile three. Now remember the quartile two is the same as the median, just to show you. Okay, so that was the median right there, it's the same. The upper fence, or sorry, the inner quartile range would just be Q3, which is this, minus Q1. So there we got that. Maybe we want all numbers to be two, three decimal places. Let's do three decimal places. Okay. Upper fence and lower fence. The upper fence is over top of the Q3. It's the Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR. So here's the kind of the idea here what we want to do. So the upper fence would be Q3 plus 1.5 times the IQR, enter. Same thing here for the lower, it's the Q1 minus 1.5 times the IQR. So there's our upper and lower fences, and we can also do those to three decimal places. Format I did, and then number All right, so that's how you quickly find the quartiles in the inner quartile range and the upper and lower fence using Excel.